Please stand as Miss Stephens class leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and liberty. Welcome to the Hornet Buzz. I hope you all had a wonderful spring break, even though it wasn't really spring. We, ha we have some really cool top stories today, so let's get on with the first one, which is the fourth grade egg drop. On March 29th, the fourth grade had the Great American Egg Drop. This happened next to the parking lot and Mrs. Bear's classroom. What the fourth graders did was they made a package that holds their egg inside. Then Mrs. Bear threw the package out of her window, and you had to see if your egg survived. I'm sure it was a lot of fun for all of the fourth graders. Thanks, Rebecca. Next up is Mrs. Jablon's telephone. On Tuesday, April 10th, Mrs. Jamlon's class did a science project where they made telephones out of paper cups and string. They were learning about sound waves and the vibrations of sound. They each had a partner and talked to each other through the telephone. When they spoke to each other, they were able to hear each other because the vibrations travel through the string. Hope you had a tele-time! On Wednesday, April 23rd, Mrs. Wester's steam group had a visitor. Mrs. Wester's husband, Kurt, came to talk to them about electricity. He helped them build and wire their operation game for the carnival. Here's a little sneak peek on how it works. Thanks for helping, Kurt. On April 23rd, the talent show sign-ups will start. The third and fourth graders are to choose what talent they have and then present it on May 1st. The big show will be held in the gym where the kids will show their talents. I hope everyone has fun and does awesome. Hi, I'm Isabel, here with the Hornet Buzz Runner. On Friday, the high is 72 and the low is 58. Thunderstorms. On Saturday, the high is 61 and the low is 41. Showers. On Sunday, the high is 45 and the low is 30. A.M. Showers. Wow, we're having a lot of rain this weekend. So, when do people start using the trampoline? I don't know when. Springtime. Boing. Guess who it is? Mrs. Anderson. Good morning. We are here with Mrs. Anderson, whose job is a recess teacher at Davenport Elementary. Thank you for joining us, Mrs. Anderson. Hi. Nice to be here. Um, where did you go to college? I went to college. I went two places. I went to ICC first, and then I went to Eastern Illinois University about your family. I am married to my husband Scott and we have three girls, uh, Natalie who's a sophomore in high school, Elizabeth who's in seventh grade, and Samantha who's in fifth grade. Tell us, do you have any pets? I do not have any pets. What interests do you pursue outside of school? Well, I love to read, so I always have a book going, and I love watching my girls play basketball, and they play a lot of basketball. And in the summertime, we like to go fishing and swimming and spending time together as a family. Who was your favorite teacher in school? My favorite teacher was my third grade teacher, Mrs. Goodian. Uh, what is the food that you like but everyone else think is disgusting? Sauerkraut. Um, what is a place you would like to before you die and why? I would like to go to Germany because um, I'd like to see all the castles and I love German food. It's my favorite. 
If you were an ice cream flavor, what would you be? Mint chocolate chip. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Anderson's family. Mrs. Anderson's daughters. What's your favorite sport? Basketball. Football. Baseball. Volleyball. And softball. Basketball got 53, football and baseball tied 42, volleyball got 34, and softball got 20. Basketball wins! On March 10th, Mrs. Bear's class made very cool idioms. An idiom is a saying that is not actually true. Their teacher gave them idioms and they drew how it sounds. Then they wrote what it actually means. The reason they did this is so they can understand idioms more. One idiom could be did the cat get your tongue? Be sure to, to look at these remarkable idioms. It's almost time to see the fourth grade drama club play. The play will be revealed on April 19th. All Davenport students will get to see the show. This year's play of the Rock and Tale of Snow White. The drama club clubbers have worked very hard on this year's production. Nobody has died in the making of this show. The fourth graders are excited to share their show. What was Mrs. Morrow's favorite grade? My favorite grade growing up was... A. Kindergarten. First grade. next week. It's the final map test of the year. You should be fine if you just work hard. Because this is a very hard test, you'll need to eat a nutritious breakfast. The nutrition in things like eggs, yogurt, and berries help your brain stay active and focused. Also, keep a goal in mind. If you don't have a goal, you won't be motiv motivated to do fantastic. But you will still do well. Get some good sleep too. If you are tired, you won't be as focused. No way. Work hard, do your best, and you'll be A-OK. -okay. Calendar. April 13th, PBIS celebration. April 15th, start of spring map testing. April 16th through 20th, Mrs. Chapman's Peter Rabbit play. April 19th, Drama Club Play. Have a great week! On this day, April 13th, 
is Friday the 13th today. Friday the 13th is the day you may look forward to with fear. Friday the 13th is an unlucky day, a day when bad things can happen. Whatever you do, don't walk under a ladder and don't lay a black cat cross your path on this day. It is also Blame Someone Else Day today. National Blame Someone Else Day is always celebrated on the first Friday 13th of the year. The way to celebrate this day is a self is self-explanatory in the name and not much more needs to be said. If you don't want to blame someone, put the blame on something. The, 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 that's all, folks.